a uh, shed update and uh, can you believe on this Christmas day it's uh, actually 60 degrees outside so uh, enjoying the uh, nice weather here inside the ark and be adding some uh, new antiquities uh, to the ark. Uh, first up is the uh, this is basically uh, brand new out and uh, the hobby store gets these. I really don't uh, go and uh, hunt online and look for them. The hobby store gets them so I uh, pretty much buy them. But anyway they came out with more teddy bears. Uh, this is the uh, rum pum pum purple and drum. I, that's the purple bear, so uh, of course, you know, I had to have that one. I think these are just uh, fascinating kits that you just got to have. And uh, I got the whole set of bears over there, so I thought, well, why not? I will uh, pick him up as well. And then, Lord and behold, after I picked him up, I found another one. Uh, the green one, Surf Green and Guitar. So I had to have the... Uh, Ah, uh, the green bear to go with the uh, blue, red, and yellow bear. And, uh, you know, I got the panda, the brown. Uh, it's just nuts. So, uh, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine bears. So, uh, you know, pretty much had to, uh, got, just pretty much got the whole set. Now, somewhere in here, I got, uh, wherever I have it. Yeah, the bear guy there, that was the first one I ever picked up of the, uh, teddy bear Gundams and uh, they got a bunch more and uh, after I get all the uh, little bears I'll probably end up go ahead and trying to pick up the uh, bigger bears to go with the little bears but that's just uh, you know something to get when you uh, just have really nothing to buy in the model uh, world but anyway that's uh, there on the bears uh, next up and this is from the anime show one piece and I uh, this is Chopper. He is the blue nose reindeer. But anyway, he gets uh, basically a little mobile suit. And uh, I never even know these existed, so I uh, I picked these up. Uh, they they were cheap. I thought, you know, and they're Bandai, so they're you know pretty darn good. But anyway, I had to have uh, this, and they only had two. They had the small one here, uh, whatever it is, Chopper Robo Super Two Heavy Armor, and then they had a bigger kit. And uh, still was really good uh, price. Super One Guard Fortress. Have no idea. You know, I don't know. If, uh, the show is actually. I love the show, but it's actually too long. It's uh, they it just kept. Seemed like it, when you keep watching, it just kept on and on and on. It's like you kind of need to hurry up. But anyway, that's another topic. But anyway, I had to have this. But now I shouldn't have bought these because now I got to have five. Five kits to make, uh, I guess, Chopper the uh, uh, robot there. I, you know, so I got this one and I got this one, so I need three more. So if the hobby store don't get them, I got I got to remember I got to try to uh, swindle them to order me these three kits so I can have the entire set. It's just like the bears, you know. Now Chopper's got this five piece. Now I would like to have two each of all these so I could. Uh, take chopper out and uh basically make uh, a model kit of him because that really does interest me for some reason i think it's just odd and uh that fills the bill but anyway uh looking forward to getting the other set to add to the uh ever-growing uh bandai japanese animation section of the arc uh up next uh probably seen this before i don't know if i actually done it but uh, this is Accurate Miniatures uh, armament set from World War II, and you get the uh, tractor. Uh, I probably I don't know if I talked about this or not. I bought this kit to get the uh, torpedo for the MBT. Uh, I was going to try to get a. Uh, There's an old uh, torpedo bomber. It was an old monogram kit. Uh, I was trying to find it, but I couldn't find it, and uh, it was kind of cheaper to buy this. And uh, so I went ahead and got the. Uh, Armament set and these bunch of bombs, missiles, you know, they don't go to waste. You can always use them. Uh, I know some people, if you robbed a uh, one bomb out of here, you know, the kit's worthless. And I'm like, I can't, I can't be that way. I mean, everything in here is usable from the tractor to all the bombs. Even if you uh, didn't use the bombs for what they were, you could use them as greebles, like for uh, putting on starships and everything. It's just, it's just endless of what can be done. But anyway. I know I don't have that. I always try to pick up all the uh, uh, bombs and stuff. It's just uh, always uh, always usable here. 
in the uh, art and in BHP land. Uh, what else? Ah, vinyl kits. Now, I don't talk a whole lot about vinyl kits because uh, some of them are actually, and I'll, I'll touch on it just a little briefly, uh, some are actually, uh, I have a lot of legit vinyl kits. I also have a lot of non-legit vinyl kits. These are basically uh, uh, recasts, so don't uh, bother typing in, tell me you know wrong and everything. I it is, but I did get I do have a bunch of them that are uh, extremely cheap here in the states. But anyway, I uh, don't know. Uh, she's a Japanese, uh, uh, basically half naked female. That you know, I'm very weak, and uh, when it comes to kits like that, so I had to have it, and uh, I owned one now. I have no idea who she is, and if I said her name, I'll probably uh, butcher it. So there she is, and uh, actually very slick. But anyway, I don't talk about them much, but I do have uh, vinyl kits, uh, good and bad. So uh, we'll leave it as that. Uh, in the vintage category, I actually picked this up. Um, it was just uh, like a thrift store, not a thrift store, uh, antique store. They had this, and I was like, man, this is crazy. This is a Pyro Mallard Duck Paint by Numbers. Actually, Pyro, uh, I can't remember the date on it. Uh, when did it come out? I want to say uh, early 60s. Uh, Pyro came out with uh, the Mallard Duck, the, uh, what's it called, Ring Neck Pheasant Bald Eagle. Uh, you got all three of them, uh, you know, individually. Uh, they came out with them first, but then the second reissue are the paint by numbers. Well, man, I saw this on the shelf, and I mean, it is almost mint. I mean, it's a, you know, just excellent shape. I mean, it hasn't even been started or anything of that nature. It's just like a fell out of time itself and ended up in uh, the art. But anyway, it's just one of those. Uh, I think it's a unique kit. I mean, uh, I like I like fantasy, you know, science fiction, love ships of war and tanks of war, but uh, the odder the better when it comes to uh, kits like that. I think because uh, you don't necessarily have to paint, uh, you know, the way that is. You can always make a sci-fi duck too, but that's just me. But anyway, there's uh, stuff that we'd love to own. Which I do own, uh, I do own the musket back there, but anyway. Uh, great kit, and if I, uh, what's, uh, I'm trying to get this, uh, I want to try to get the uh, pheasant. Uh, Pyro did the pheasant, uh, Lifelike did them, uh, did these as well. Um, uh, would like to own an original Pyro, uh, and don't matter which, uh, version of it. Just to have it in the original box, so I'd have an original, then the reissue, and then, um, whoever brand. Uh, has it? Uh, I have. I have. Uh, I actually have the Eagle, which is actually reissued by Lindbergh. There, uh, same kit. Uh, just you know, that's just one thing uh, about model kits. You know, you, the manufacturers change and change and change. But anyway, that's a just a gorgeous, gorgeous kit. And look, it cost ninety-eight cents back in the uh, good old days. Anyway, very unique find, uh, just something uh, just very odd for uh, the ARC. Oh, I talk too much. It's water time. Up next, uh, I got this in. Uh, uh, this is Series 2. This is uh, uh, from Gecko. This is Tales from the Apocalypse. This is The Waitress. If you read the story on it, I think it's just absolutely... Uh, just fantastic. The model kits are based off just a basically a little uh, short story, and uh, I think it's just uh, just great. But anyway, it comes in an '80s style uh, cassette tape box, and if you uh, have followed along before, you know that the first series that came out. Let's go back here into the figure section. <clears throat> they came out with the uh, heroine, and she's not a zombie. She was uh, uh, basically still human and not. Uh, changed or anything of that nature don't want to break mr. M.A.K. there but anyway the uh, the waitress uh, was the second female in the second series and you get her dad which is a chef and uh, a biker and if I got them cheap enough I'll probably get them but uh, females 
I will pay full price for and uh, I had to have that so that actually uh, goes well with my uh, <coughs> figure section here in uh, they see that you can get the rip just right show you the cassette tape I mean it's just I I like these kits I think they're fantastic so anyway I got both uh, females from Tales from the Pocket, so now I'm waiting for Series 3, so I can have uh, whoever they come up with in the uh, third series. Uh, up next, and I really shouldn't have, uh, I, well, I can't really say that either. I actually uh, I should have bought, I wanted the Superman, uh, Superman, Spider-Man van from MPC. You don't see these often. I actually have the van back there. It's a 30-second scale van, uh, but I've actually bought it for the box. It's a little high. It is kind of ripped. <clears throat> the kit itself is not complete. It's actually missing the uh, interior. It's got the uh, wheels, but it's missing the axles and the rims. But uh, instructions are in there, the box, and I know the uh, uh, decals or decals, if you uh, prefer to call them that way. Uh, they're applied and they're scuffed off, but anyway, you just don't see... Uh, the MPC vans and somewhere in here I have the uh, R2 D2 van and God only knows I think it's shoved back in there uh, but you just don't see them and it's not one of those uh, back then when they, this because this came out in 1977 and it's one of those you know, you know why buy that when you can get the uh, you know regular van you know for half price so uh, you know we did that way but anyway but after the construction of the Ark, everything changed. Uh, we had to have the uh, MPC uh, Spider-Man van. So now I technically have one. I mean, I could actually uh, uh, probably piece it out back there and make one a uh, whole. But whoever, who knows? I may, however, find another one down the road. But that's a little piece of uh, uh, cool history there that we'd like to add to the Ark. Uh, this was kind of a... Christmas birthday gift to myself because I really wasn't uh, planning on getting one. Uh, I this is uh, Polar Lights, uh, Wizard of Oz, The Wicked Witch, uh, which at one time they were going to make it styrene, but then uh, it was going to cost too much, so they uh, did a limited run of just making the resin kit out of it, and they also got a pre-painted version of it too, which uh, if I can get that cheap enough, I might. Uh, price was right, and uh, I just I went ahead and got one because I don't think I'd ever get one for that price again and uh, so uh, I went ahead and uh, purchased it uh, it's basically going to be like a fine wine uh, it's going to stay sealed and it's just going to uh, sit in here and uh, uh, I want to say fester but it'll uh, appreciate and value <laughs> but it is in the arc so that's uh, one thing but anyway it's a gorgeous kit uh, I've seen everyone uh, put one together. I've seen the pieces, everything. Everything just fits beautifully. Would love to have just the kit of just her. I think that would, uh, in an old uh, Aurora style box, which I think would uh, just be in top notch. Uh, that's just my opinion on that. But anyway, I, uh, I own one. I didn't think I would because I also own the King Kong one that came out. And it's a limited Russian. Uh, Russian. Tell I'm thinking about the Russians because you know they you know hacked everything. But speaking of Russians, uh, Zezvada, wherever I got them at, uh, Zezvada came out with a uh, star destroyer, and uh, I got one in route, and it's a it's a two footer, so uh, it'll be here probably middle of January. But anyway, we'll uh, we'll jump that bridge. I need to get off on that tangent there. Uh, uh, the Wicked Witch. Uh, I think it's a great kit. I'd like to I'd like to have another one too because I'd like to have not necessarily. Well, I like to have two for the art, but I like to have two because I like to have another monkey. I think you have, should have two monkeys to go with the witch, but you know that is just me. But anyway, uh, gorgeous kit, and looking forward to uh, adding it to the art. But anyway, that's what I've got going on today. Uh, we're adding the uh, Wicked Witch, adding the Spider-Man uh, van, adding uh, Chopper, the Blue Nose Reindeer, adding more teddy bears to the uh, arc here itself, and one of my new favorite things uh, we like to add, we're adding more Tales of the Apocalypse. 
uh, to the ark. So that's what I got going on today. So stay tuned for the next exciting episode.